BS here with Louis, man. It's your boy, Three Letter Man. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. You see where to follow your boy at. Follow me back, man. Hit the like button also. I appreciate that, man. Y'all see the title of this particular blog, man. Let's talk about it. <laughs> so the conversation on social media for the last couple of days, even though this is not the first time this conversation has been brought to the forefront of hip hop conversation or the verses, it's sidebar right quick. It's the verses, we haven't even got a verses all year. I understand we're in what, March, we're in the latter parts of March right now. We haven't got any verses, I don't, I, I like some of the verses though. You know what I mean? Like Snoop and DMX, I liked. I'm Caribbean, so I did like Beanie Man and Bounty Kill. I, I like that a lot. I didn't care for Nelly and Ludacris. I just thought it was one lopsided. No, nope. only St. Louis dudes. Shout out to Verb Hit Man, Ice Pack, B Magic, Remy Dean, all those brothers and everything. But fam, only you cats thought that Ludic I mean Nelly was gonna be ludicrous in a verse that nobody really thought that was gonna ever happen. Let's be honest. Um Geechee and I'm um, Geechee. Jeezy and Gucci was kind of intense. I wouldn't have done it. I just when you just allegedly have ish have have been brought up to have have had your hands dirty and the murking of one of my mans in them and then we're gonna do verses. Okay, cool. Uh, Rick Ross and um two chains. I see that's just what I look at TI funny style and I gotta give him the side eye because TI nobody wanted to see two chains and Rick Ross. Nobody. Rick Ross ain't even go he didn't even go hard. Ross had another fresh 20 pack he could have put on two chains, man. We, it should have been Ross and T.I. or Jeezy and T.I. It should have been that. But T.I. wanted to go against New York dudes. Da, 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 da. Um, what was that? Rizza and Primo. I like that a lot. I'm a Manny Fresh and, and Manny Fresh and um Scott Storch, I think it was. Mm. 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 The R&B verse has been, been trash, though. I don't think I like any art. Well, Jill, Jill Scott and Eric Badu was cool. But like 112 and Jagged Edge was... Anyway, let's stay focused, man. Lil Wayne, Dwayne Carter, a.k.a. Lil Tucci, and 50 Cent's Curtis Jackson, F, a.k.a. Ferrari, F5 Ferrari, is heating up in the hip-hop conversations on social media. Um, there's been a discussion. I see what, what DJ Envy is out here talking about on a breakfast club that 50 would beat Wayne in a versus. And let me just say this right quick. We're going to kill this narrative right now, right today. I got love for the South because I live, I, even though I'm a New York dude, I live a lot of places, man. So I've gone to places where I appreciate people. Um, Shout out to the South, the Midwest, and the West Coast. But here's my question to y'all people, man. Why is it when New York people big up their own flesh and blood on that state that comes from their soil and where they're from, wherever the borough there it is, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island, wherever. If we say 50 Cent could be Lil Wayne in a versus, we are considered biased. But any of you people that's from the South, the Midwest, or the West Coast, Big people from your soil, you're not biased. Let me slow that down again. Put it in subtitles. Press with Sue Surf. Why is it that when New York people pick their own kind, they're deemed as biased? But when y'all pick for your favorites that might not be from New York, we got to eat that. And y'all are not deemed biased. Where they do that at? Wait for it. Archie Bunker, well, I'm sorry. No, we're not doing that no more. No, 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 no. That's got to stop. Y'all been running with that. Y'all been running with that rhetoric for a whole, for a long time now. Y'all been run, run. And I don't mean Charlie Baltimore. I mean, was it run, Ghostface Killing all right. I don't mean run, Ghostface and um, Jada Kiss. No, I don't mean that run. But y'all been running with that for a hot minute now. Everyone has opinions. And let's be real. Wherever you're from, man, let's have, let's have a conversation. Wherever you're from, you're going to feel. I keep telling y'all, Jay-Z is my favorite rapper. 
people that might live in Louisiana, Houston area, Atlanta, Chicago, they might not look at Hov the way I look at Jay-Z. Just like I'm not, I'm not from Houston, but I respect the, um, when Houston had a run for a little two, three years, Mike Jones, Chameleon there, Paul Wall, um, R.I.P. Pimpsey, of course, Bum B, um, Slim Thug and them. Hey, um, chopped and screwed and all that. Swish your house. Like, I respect the culture. So, I'm not from that, but I respect it. I respect what Houston had a little run for a little bit. I, I respected it. I had no choice but to respect it. Right? Charlamagne he sits up there and he's like, yo, why is the South feeling slighted? Why? Because, well, the guy, I guess he said, he said, um, let me, y'all gotta stop this wash word on both sides. New York, New York dude, stop saying that 50's gonna wash Lil Wayne. Stop that, because 50's not gonna wash Lil Wayne, bro. Come on, we not, 50's not washing Lil Wayne. You can't wash a Lil Wayne. Nobody's washing Wayne. Nobody, let me say this again. Nobody in hip hop is washing Lil Wayne in a verse. It just, that, that, that doesn't even sound remotely smart to say that. Like, where you been at? Where you been at? To sit there and say somebody's gonna wash Lil Wayne, you sound like an idiot. On the flip side, I'm sorry to myself, people, because y'all love Wayne and y'all might try to front on 50. Here's the thing with 50 that I don't like with y'all people out there. Some of y'all be catching hip hop amnesia when it comes to 50. Yes, y'all do. Y'all act, y'all act like 02, 03, 04, 05 was not here. You act like it didn't count. You act like he was not out here moving and shaking. You y'all acting like when Jay-Z went to the Breakfast Club, he said, he said, he said, like, quote, oh. He told Beans and them, Bleak and, and, and State Property and the Gunners and all them, he's coming. He's coming. It ain't Nas is coming. No, ain't the Nas is coming on, 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 what's that, the front album? Nas is coming. Nas, Steve, no, no, no. 50's coming. It ain't Nas is coming. 50's coming. Boo Boo's coming. He's coming. So Jay knew the vibes already. Y'all be acting like 50, like, I don't, I don't like how y'all short, because I can't shortchange Lil Wayne. But I'm sure I'm not going to let y'all act like catch hip-hop amnesia. I keep, yo, whether y'all like it or not, and I say this all the time, what 50 had over Jay-Z, Nas, and Biggie. This is what 50 had over those dudes. When he came out of 03, because really, I mean, he did come a power of a dollar. Y'all act like power of a dollar didn't matter either. How to rob and all that. That didn't shake dudes up. He came into the game talking about robbing dudes. And you had Jay-Z talking about, I'm about a dollar. What the F is 50 cent? You had what, Ghostface and them doing a skit on, on, on 50. You didn't just have a 50 cent disc. Like, these are the things that was going on. So when y'all use the word wash... Be a little bit respectful also on 50 side. Wayne's not watching no 50, bro. We, that's not gonna we watch to whom we watch to y'all. For y'all might not be familiar. See, I'm from I'm I'm I re, and I feel this in my bone, in my heart and soul. That New York dudes um where we we understand Wayne's catalog more than some of y'all other regions that do not understand 50 cent catalog. Let me say that again. I feel that we are hip. Us as New Yorkers, East Coast, whatever you want to call it, we are hip to Little Wayne's catalog. Some of y'all other regions are not hip to catalog. Well, let me let me let me go back to this. What 50 had over Jay Nas and Big was that when he came out, he had everybody rocking with him. He had New York, he had the South, the Midwest, and the West Coast. Let me he had all regions rocking with him when Gavin to Die Try came out. He let's, let's call it. He did more than more than Jay, more than Nas, and more than Big. I felt other regions rocked with Fifty more than they rocked when Biggie first came out. When when, when um Nas and Ho first came out, that's what I think Fifty has over them. And respectfully, yes, I agree. I, I respect. I don't have um Lil Wayne having any album better than Give It to Die Trying. Let me just stay right there, right quick. I'm not saying that's gonna win. A, let me say that's not gonna win. A, um. Of, of, of verses like y'all before y'all type that doesn't mean you're gonna win the verse nobody said that let me finish what i don't like also is y'all i can like 50 50 then um 
the massacre, that, that, that didn't matter? 1.44 days? Is that what Jada Kiss said on Checkmate? Congratulations, homie. 1.44, yeah. And we also forget that the massacre, let's be real. If we, let's, let's, let's dig deep. When 50 dropped Give It To Die Trying, what did he do, y'all? He went and he, he went and dropped the G on the album. He dropped the G on the album. Banks and the G on the album. He made them let them get out first, and they spin the block back again. He could. The, the point I'm making is 50 could have dropped a massacre right after Give It To Die Trying the next year. He could have done what DMX and Nas did, drop two albums and one if he wanted to. He could have dropped Give It To Die Trying in February and then dropped the massacre and boom. In November, October type ish, fourth quarter type ish. He wanted his man's in them to shine. So I don't like this hip hop amnesia that y'all do when it comes to 50. Because I could make the argument, and I will make the argument, he was the MVP of this thing we call hip hop. O2, definitely, he was, the, he was the unanimous, unanimous, let me say Steph Curry, unanimous MVP in 2003. Nobody, none, sorry, no, no other New York rapper, no. Sorry, Joe Budden, we understand Pump It Up and all that came out, but your debut album was, was not seeing Give It To Die Trying. Sorry, Joey, you're my guy and everything. But yet that album was not set at the table, but Give It, give it To Die Trying. And you, I, I, Carter One, I like. I don't think it's, it's, it's you know. And I'm going to say this, I like Power of a Dollar more than Carter One. That's just me, though. That's just me, though. But when I say that, y'all will take that as hate. No one hates Lil Wayne. I'm not going to hate a black man that does music. I don't care where you're from. I like music. I'm too old to be, to be stuck in that region talk. I lived that life already when, yeah, when New York used to give their ass to kiss to other regions. Yes, we know. Yes, New York, y'all did. Y'all did give your ass to kiss to other regions. And I still feel the South and the West and some part, the South mainly, even though y'all on top, y'all still feel like the way from back in the day that New York probably didn't embrace y'all. That's how I feel sometimes, the way y'all come off sometimes. Like y'all are winning sometimes, but y'all still, y'all still b i t c h i n g uh, about certain things, and I'm like, fam, y'all are winning right now. You gotta understand something, South, my South brothers. The new New York dudes, the new New York, the five year foreigners, all of them. They, 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 not, they wasn't here for all the bickering and all that. They wasn't here when the, when Andre three thousand said the South got something to say. They, they wasn't here for that. So they don't really care about East Coast, West Coast wars in the '90s and. They, they, with anything, they more link up more than ever. So, you know, I, I don't like how the mask gets pushed to the side like it's nothing. And then the G with it, and I don't mean it's a mixtape game in a, in a second. You know what I mean? Like those albums just get pushed to the side and everything. Like um, other songs, I get money and everything like that. But I, listen, Carter 2 was dope. Carter, and I, I see the masses. But you see the thing with Lil Wayne is this. He's more popular than 50. And if we're talking about features, features? Wayne is smashing 50 on features. Yes, he is. Respectfully, he is. I might not even like all the features Wayne might have been on, but he's in the features bag, meaning he's rapping on other people's songs, or he has, like, Wayne is smashing 50 on that. Now, we can talk about um, the, the um, game documentary. And that's another thing. Y'all act like 50 didn't have those songs that he gave the game. He gave game songs. Like, y'all act like he was called, wasn't the executive producer on, on am, I, am I bugging? You need credits for, for the, for the, um, I, I could be bugging, my bad. I don't put out false information. I just, I, I thought I could remember that. But I, we, we, we do know he did pen, he gave songs to game, because game was on Aftermath for a while. They didn't know what to do with this man. He hung around G Unit, at, fronted like he wasn't wearing G Unit clothing, but he had a bandana or whatever. It's okay, but game, we forgive you for that, brother. They put you under the wing, got you right, and then here we go, the documentary. So, you know. Like 50 Cent, man, respectfully, man, what New York niggas know about country grammar? Not much, but we know how to bang them hammers. That's just, you know? But I do believe that Wayne does smash 50 in the features bag. You know? Now, like I said, I don't think nobody's washing nobody. We're gonna, we're gonna stop that, man. And yes, Fifty would need more than get Richard not trying. Who I don't know who's acting like. I don't think who said. I don't think Fifty. That's the thing. Somebody was saying that, and y'all act like Fifty says that. Fifty never. I don't think Fifty would think himself. Okay, I'm about to go against Lil Wayne in the verses. A guy who's been there for over 25 years, 
And I just think Richard that trying is gonna be that. That's not gonna be the answer to beat a little Wayne in a versus. Now, do I think popularity wise, I think everybody's running with Wayne. I see that a lot of people. I think if you ask the average person right now, they're gonna ride with Wayne. You understand what I'm saying? They ride it with with with, with, with Tucci. Over 50. The point I guess that I'm making is let's not act like 50 don't got joints. Y'all gonna stop this wash talk. Y'all gonna stop this wash talk. Are you kidding me? We, we, we not doing that, man. And credit to Wayne. He had hits before 50. He had hits while 50 was on his MVP run. After 50 slowed down off the music, Wayne was still out here. So I'm not fronting on that, 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 that. Was that four year run with Wayne? He's always been dope. Let me be clear on that. But that that four year period where everything he touched, he could not miss. He was just everything was banking in, right? But we're not gonna ignore fifties run from 02 to 06. We're not gonna run that. And, and be honest, shout out to Wayne, but I don't, Wayne was not hotter than, than fifty in 02, 03, 04, 05. And a tad a bit 06, he, he, in my opinion, for me, musically wise, he was. I'm not saying he didn't have any music. I didn't say the mixtape wasn't out here busting. I'm not saying I don't remember hitting him on Eat the Beat. We get all that. I remember them and Joel Santana, um, Can't Feel My Face Joints, and um, them rapping off the Nas, Black Republicans. They they went crazy on that. Even though Joel's did get Wayne on, on them verse that he, he rapped the second verse and got like, Wayne out of here, but that's either here or there, right? But. Respectfully, whose music I enjoy more is 50 for me. But once again, that is not taking anything from Wayne. I'm not going to sit up here on a platform and be like some of you buffoons and be like, because I like 50, I'm blind to the fact on some heavy D. You're blind, baby. You can't see what I can't see. You're blind, baby. I don't know about heavy D, man. I don't know. RP heavy D, man. But the point I'm making is this, man. Nobody's going to get washed in no verses. We're not doing that. 50 is not washing. Wayne and Wayne's not to credit to, to you young people out there. I don't know. Y'all need to stop that. That Wayne's washing 50. That's not happening. You're bugging the F out. You're bugging if you think, and if they go into the mixtape bags, see, this is why the conversation that some of y'all might not like when I'm about to go in this bag. But bear me for a second, man. We just not gonna ignore 50's run. You know what I mean? And then what's a young guru, young guru. I ain't mean, trying to be the smart guy in the room and all that. He said 50. Young Guru, shut up, man. You sound like you sound like you don't know what you're talking about. For for young guru, who y'all might know young guru, he's he was part of Jay's camp or any producer engineer and all that. You know, talked out of them cats that, that Jay be talking about through his raps. I didn't mean to say that. shut up, young guru. Part of himself, my bad. It's just passionate. My bad, brother. I apologize. I don't mean to come at you like that. But you sound like a buffoon. My bad. You just sound crazy to sit up there and say that. Wayne is gonna wash 50. And this is what I this is listen, I know you know I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show everybody you know, I'm gonna be the, the New York guy that's that's gonna say What do you mean what do you mean wash? Young guru, what do you mean wash? Are you hanging with Jay? We know Jay probably Jay and 50 don't got the greatest relationship. So you're gonna throw the the, the, the wash word in there? Why? Cause cause we know Wayne loves Ho so much. That's another story too. We 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 we're not even gonna get into Wayne and Jay Z. We ain't not beating no Jay-Z and no verses. That, that ain't no if ands or buts about that conversation. Let's be clear on that. Y'all can pull this 50 cent crap if y'all want to, which I don't even, I'm not even jacking all the way, right? But I'm not going to sit up here and say Wayne is beating S. Doc Carter, Sean Corey, Jigger Man, Young Vito, Voice of the Young People. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't jump on that tree, that tree will fall on you. Nah, we're not doing that. When you how you got how is a dude like that gonna be a dude? Isn't Wayne got Jay-Z? We're not even go to his arm like talk to him. I just personally I like 50 Cent's music more over the over their career. You know, and, and you can call it I'm a New Yorker. Call it whatever you want to call it. Yes. I'm a product of my environment. I'm just not blind to what other regions are doing, but I'm not I'm I, I like 50 music more. Does that make me biased? Y'all not biased because y'all like way more than 50, right? Let me guess. I'm just a bias. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll wear that title. Since y'all don't want to stand the campfire, I'm, this has nothing to do with bias. I don't understand how you like something that's conceived. That's another thing. How can you like something more than other thing that's deemed as bias? I've never looked at a, a person that's from Cali who say like Tupac more than Big and look at them as bias. That's what you like. How is that bias? 
you know, we're not even going to sit here and talk about when Wayne went to Harlem and they did a bird call video with J.R. Ryder and, and Lil Wayne and them. And, you know, he got a little Dipset splash swag on him. He started he was rocking a Dipset shirt. And he started wearing the belt buckles and stuff, hanging around Jewels and them. I, we, we're not going to go into that bag. I, I'm not trying to play Wayne out. But we're not going to act like he ain't go to Harlem for a little bit. And, and you know... So I'm wearing his belts like Jim Jones and Jewels. And I'm just saying, dog, respectfully... Like what a three. But we're not, I'm, I'm not gonna let y'all play 50 like that, man. Y'all be, I y act like y'all think, I don't know, where was y'all at? Some of y'all was here and be acting like you forgot. Because 50's not popping right now. Longevity wise, I'm giving that to, to um, Lil Wayne. But I still don't feel he's gonna be 50 in the. I, if I'm doing a song from a song, I'm probably gonna like more songs than 50 than Wayne. For me, I, I am. And y'all, let's go to this mixtape game y'all love doing. Like, listen, I've heard the drop mixtapes, the dedication, all those. Yes, Wayne was outside doing a mixtape game. But I'm just saying, um, so RIP Justo and all that, Justo Mixtape Awards. I don't know if, it, if I don't know. Y'all might say he's biased in New York, but Banks is winning those. Banks is winning the mixtape. <laughs> Junior has something to do with those mixtapes. Listen, man. Respectfully, in my rotation at the time is Dipset, Locks, and G Unit. Respectfully on the respectfully. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it more like I just like the G Unit radio joints more. Then, guess who's back? God's 50 Cent, God's plan. No mercy, no fear. I'm not fronting on Wayne, but I don't have a Wayne over 50 Cent in a mixtape game. I don't, bro. I'm so sorry, man. And I was outside. I'm listening to stuff, and I just don't. I, 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 I don't, bro. Respectfully, I, I don't. So if they doing 20 piece, I got 50. I'm just saying though, respectfully, or respectfully. So that's just my take on it, man. And I'm gonna say this, y'all might not like this. I, I never thought, I never thought Lil Wayne was a better MC than 50 either. I never thought Lil Wayne was a better MC than 50. I never thought his, I, I thought 50 said Hood Tales on Hood Tales stories. Wayne don't got that all. He got punchlines and all that. But in terms of quotables, round quotables for me, for me, it's going to be Curtis. What did 50 say on the, on, on the Curtis album? When, um, what's that song? When Trina and, Trina and Buck was, when Trina and Wayne was moon moon kissing. <laughs> she told Buck that too. What did he say? 50 took shots at Lil Wayne too, though. We keeping it tall. Wayne didn't want that smoke. If we keeping it tall, if you were there outside, you remember 50 took shots at Lil Wayne. What was the intro? I hear you, Mr. Carter said, what? Y'all be trying to front on 50. I'm just not going to let y'all do that, son. That's all I'm saying, man. I'm not going to let y'all front on 50. For, that's just me. I like 50 Cent. I would have 50 beating Wayne in the verses. Not a smashing, not a body bag, not a washing words that some of you buffoons are using out here. That's not going to happen. So it's your boy three, man. One.